ladies and gentlemen, Nicola Brattle. Hello everybody, welcome today to our pre-sales webinar. We're really happy to have you join us and we're excited to chat to you and get you to meet the team. Um, today we are running through an exciting um, agenda. Sorry, thank you. Thank you, Derek. So we will basically run through um, an agenda today where you'll get to hear our stories about how we've launched our career at BMC. We've all come from various walks of life um, and taken different paths that have led us here to our career in the function of pre-sales. Um, as you know, my name is Nicola Braddle. Um, you may have heard from my accent, I'm from Ireland and I work in the Dublin office for BMC. Um, and I've been with BMC four years now. I definitely came from a different background. I recruited for many different um, industries and coming into software was very exciting and new for me. Um, now I'm uh, head of pre-sales for the recruitment and hiring across EMEA. We have a great lineup of speakers today. We're gonna start off with Mel Melanie Vogel. Melanie's our VP for Value Engineering and Solution Engineering. Melanie joined about six months ago, so she's got some great stories to tell you in her short time here, but I think she already feels like she's part of the furniture. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Melanie. Enjoy the call. Thank you, Nicola. I appreciate that. And welcome, everyone. We hope at some point we can welcome you into BMC. But today I think you're ready for you're going to hear a great conversation. And the beauty of this call is that, yeah, I can set us up and tell you about the, the business, but the proof is in the pudding and really the power of the team. And that's the speakers behind me. So let me just take a moment to tell you why I joined BMC and what I found since I've been in this role. Excuse my voice. It's been a long weekend. Um, so like Nicholas said, I have joined BMC um, just as, actually in December. So I'm rolling into my you know eighth or ninth month now, and it's been everything I wanted and more. I started my career out you know decades ago, if I could be so bold, in channel sales in a smaller company out in Boulder, Colorado. And you know, being there for about five or so years, decided to move into different roles in larger corporations. That gave me an opportunity to, to learn new things. So I was in, went to Sun Microsystems and then on to Oracle, then on to EMC, and then on to Dell Technologies, and today BMC. And the reason why I considered BMC at all was, you know, I had really spent a lot of the earlier years building up a foundation of my career. And that thirst of knowledge for me, it helps me stay sharp. So getting into a different environment and a different type of technology and, and customer relationship was really exciting. BMC to me, it checked all the boxes. First, it was a smaller company that had ability to be agile and fail quickly and then you know sprint towards a new objective. We have a close relationship with our customers, but the size of the organization lets us harness the true power of the people within it. Anywhere you go, you're going to run into four or five generations worth of folks coming together and collaborating in new and older ways. What we're looking to do is harness that excitement and all those different skills to complement each other, to use the structure and the, the folks that we have to cross pollinate and really just jump to where we want to show the value to our customers. One of the other pieces I really loved about this company is the vision that it had and the strategy of our autonomous digital enterprise. Our role within this company is to really get our customers excited about the innovation, the technology we have. We're constantly coming up with new things and the pre-sales team is a huge piece of that. So we look at the folks within our organizations to be the, the you know, groundswell or crowdsource of ideas of where we go next. We have a great strategy and vision and we're getting a really lot of great people together to make that real. Our role in that is to show the customers quickly, cleanly, in an exciting way how our solutions drive value for them and their customers. And it's, it's working. We've got a lot of great initiatives underway that I couldn't be more proud of. But the reason I really am glad I came is the culture. The BMC, it's, it's got a great way of, of embracing everyone who comes, and it's really about the inclusion piece. Everyone's worried, you know, talking about diversity and inclusion, and a lot of companies out there are hiring for diversity, but that's only one piece of the puzzle. The piece that makes BMC successful about bringing folks into our organization specifically is the inclusion piece. The fact that you can reach out and you could talk to me, you can always get on my calendar, you can talk to leaders of the people who develop these products. You're the 
conduit for feedback of how customers use our products and what can make them better. And being on that front line for me is not only exciting, it's exhilarating. It gives me fresh ideas and ways to want to reach out and do more. What I think you're going to find with the folks who talk behind me is that BMC isn't just a, a company that wants to build great products. We want to build great communities, and we're doing that day by day. We've got wonderful employee groups, but it's the sense that we can always reach out, talk to someone, connect quickly and cleanly, and really come together. I couldn't be more proud to lead BMC's pre-sales organization, and we do have other functions within our teams. But one, one thing I want to make sure I, I point out is that there's always room to grow. There's always room to, to find relationships and networks with people from other teams, external, internal. It's a fantastic fostering opportunity. We hope that our innovation excites you. I know that our culture will delight you. And so soon I'd hope to say we can you know, welcome you directly to BMC. So with that, I don't want to hold up the next exciting speaker because he's one of my favorites, Jose Luis Rubio. Jose, what do you have for us? Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining our, our web webinar. So let's start with the video. I would like to share with all of you BMC as a destination company for all of you. So please, Derek, play the video. You, Dave, pay for you, dedicated to you, to take some time and do what you enjoy the most and what would make you happy. So yeah, this is BMC. This is uh, BMC as a destination company. So uh, my name is Jose Luis Rubio. I'm based in Madrid, in Spain. And right now I'm leading the pre-sales organization in the EMEA South uh, region. So covering countries like Spain, Portugal, Italy, Eastern Europe, and, and Israel. And now I would like to take five minutes of your time in order to share with all of you from my personal experience, why BMC? Why BMC is a nice destination company for all of you? And for me, the key element, the first one, is people. As we saw in the previous video, it's all about people. So if you are working in IT, if you are working in a pharma, in health industry, in the banking or in a telco, at the end, it doesn't matter what is the industry. It's all about the people that you are working every day. And for me, something that is making BMC a company unique is the people. So I have been working for BMC for my entire professional career. I started in BMC 15 years ago. When I finished my degree at the university, I joined this uh, company, this family, because for me, BMC is like a family where we are, everybody is collaborating, not only in your closer team, but also across the, the geos. So at the end, we have a lot of people at BMC working from many, many countries. And at the end, wow, I'm really happy to see how we are collaborating across all the, all the teams and all the functions. It's very easy, as Melanie said, to, to contact with the leadership team. So if you have any initiative, if you have any idea, it's very easy to say, hey, I would like to contribute to the business of this company, to the vision and the future. So please let us know. And we are more than happy to share your idea, to listen to you and see how we can uh, how we can help you to be successful. Obviously, another reason to be uh, at BMC for me is that at the end we are a leader. So everybody loves to work in a company that is leader in their segment. And BMC, it's obviously a, a leader in, in our solution. It's something that is not Jose Luis speaking about that. It's the critical analysts in the market. They are saying that BMC is a leader and we are working for the top, top companies in the, in the world. And another thing that for me it's key to, to work at BMC is the career opportunities. So as I said before, I started in BMC 15 years ago. I started in professional services, implementing our technology. So I was running a project, long, long project for one year, for example. I was very happy in professional services, but after two years, I said, hey, I need a chain. I was talking with my manager and say, hey, I would like to move to a different organization because I would like to be more close to the business, to the sales, etc. So we create a development plan. We follow the plan and after six, seven months, I, will, I had the opportunity to move to the pre-sales organization and wow, 
more than 12 years now working in the pre-sales organization and I'm really, really happy. Inside the pre-sales organization, I started as individual contributor, but also I had the opportunity to manage my team. And wow, it's really, really something special for me to manage a team with a lot of talent, with a lot of energy, with a lot of passion, and really proud to be part of uh, this company. And last but not least, for me, something that is making BMC also unique is the world life you balance. For me, it's something key because at the end, you know, almost everybody, we are working at home, so it's not easy to combine the professional activities with our personal life. You are with your kids, with your friends, you are working, depends, 40, 50, 60 hours per week, depends on the week. And for me, it's really, really critical to be working for a company that is very flexible, that you can combine your personal activity with your uh, professional uh, daily activities. And it's something that I'm really, really happy to be at BMC because you can do it. So at the end, you can work, you can li live, but also you can have time for you to think about yourself and say, okay, what next for me? What next for Jose Luis? So I can uh, really think about what's my future in BMC, but also in my personal life. So really happy for, for that. So now let's go to the next slide, please, to see, to go deeper into why BMC pre-sales. Till now, I was talking about BMC as a company, as a destination company, but now I would like to take a couple of minutes to talk about BMC pre-sales. So for me, there are three key elements that uh, I'm really happy to, to, to have in this team, in the pre-sales organization. First of all, because we can combine two different profiles. So in our organization, we have people with a lot of experience, people with 15, 20, 25 years of experience, working with a lot of solution, a lot of technologies. As you can see, technology evolved a lot in the last uh, year. And it's amazing how people with 20 years of experience, they are really happy to continue learning the new solution. But also really happy to see how new people are joining our company. People with 22, 23 years, 24 years, they are joining. They are providing us more energy, more passion, and wow, it's perfect. The combination between young people with people with a lot of experience, it's amazing because together we are stronger in this area. So at the end, also the attitude for everybody, it's amazing. Always smiling, happy, uh, sharing, collaborating across the years. It's really, really something that is uh, making the pre organization a special department inside the BMC software. So at the end, our DNA as an organization, it's for me, work with the ultimate technology. It's amazing how we can run and reinvent our business, working with the, with the latest technology, with artificial intelligence, machine learning, etc. So the latest uh, initiative and market trends that we have in, in our customers, obviously focus on business because at the end, we are here because we are making uh, deals. We are making business with our customer. So really the pre-sales organization, we are really focused on, on making business with our sales guys, but also with our customer, providing the value that they are expecting from our solution. Team collaboration, I'll talk about that. It's amazing how we are collaborating across the different uh, department, countries, etc. And something that I'm really, really proud of that is that also we have time for innovation. So at the end, my team, for example, we are working, let's say, 85, 90% of our time in business with our sales, but also I'm making sure that we de dedicate at least 10% of our time to innovate. I say, guys, if you have any new idea, new initiative that you would like to run in your country, in Spain, in Italy, in Israel, in any other country, let's talk about that. Because we have always uh, time for, for improvement, and this is basically the DNA that we have in the pre-sales organization. And now let's see a little bit more about our technology. What, has, what is our strategy, our autonomous digital enterprise strategy? Please, can you play the video? The highest level of play or performance requires agility, speed, skill, and thinking too. No, three steps ahead. This is the A-game. Welcome. The A-game is a place where intuition and smarts are inherent. Where systems learn from you and study market shifts to become intelligent. Where employees and customers alike have better experiences that work seamlessly. Where automation is paramount, yet effortless. When technology and people are one in an enterprise. 
A-game is business at its best. We call this the Autonomous Digital Enterprise from BMC. So yeah, Autonomous Digital Enterprise is our vision, is, is our strategy to help companies to become autonomous uh, companies in the, in the future. And here you can see in this slide, a summary of our key solution that we have. In order to be able to help our customer to become autonomous in the future, this is the portfolio that we have at BMC. And I'm really happy because, uh, you know, I have been working for BMC for the last 15 years, and it's amazing how we were able to run and reinvent our business. So at the end, we are able to work with customers, with traditional customers that they are, let's say, less mature. So they are running business in the traditional way, but also in parallel, we are able to reinvent our, our solution and provide new value and innovative solution for our customers. So here we can see different solutions that we have. SaaS, our BMC Helix, uh, platform is focusing on SaaS solution in order to provide value to our customer around the consolidation of service and operation management. Also with the latest uh, uh, version of Helix Control M that is a orchestrator solution in the cloud. Also we have solution in order to help our customer that they are not ready to go to the cloud. Also we offer our solution on-prem for let's say other geos that they are not ready or they are not uh, yet in the cloud. Also we have solution that you can deploy on-prem, so at the end, we can mix different kind of customers. Obviously, we have our Control M uh, solution in order to automate and orchestrate business workflows. And obviously, we have also a lot of business in the main scenario. okay? So those are more or less our solution. So I'm here in order to provide you more uh, insights and more information about our solution. Happy to share with you uh, more details if you are interested on that, okay? And now also we've, we have been talking about business, but also in BMC precise organization, we have time in order to have fun with everybody in our team. So now I would like to show you a video that our colleagues in the UK uh, created last, uh, last quarter. And it's amazing how they also are having fun at the office. So can you play the video, please? Nice video from our colleagues in the in the UK. A part of uh, cooking classes, also they are working for our customers. So yeah, it's not a, a problem. They are providing value for for our customers. So now we would like to to listen from our top A players in the pre-sales organization more about their stories in the pre-sales uh, team. So please, Salma. Hello. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Um, great, thank you for having me and thank you for this great introduction. I really felt the enchilada spirit with the music on. That was better to put it. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so excited to be here and I'm actually grateful to have this time to give back a little bit to BMC from all the great experiences I had and share with you my journey onboarding and uh, working for BMC. Uh, so my name is Selma, I'm 32. I'm a mother of a young um, girl uh, who's uh, almost three years old and I joined BMC a year and a half ago. Uh, 
right during the pandemic. So that's going to be really interesting to talk about that. If you can uh, maybe just click uh, Derek, that's great. Um, so what I want to talk to you and share with you is, um, you know, these three uh, notes that I'm, I will be focusing on. Uh, when I'm looking for new challenges in my life or new career uh, steps, I always look for three th things. First, um, you know, a place to to be able to give, you know, a place that is open to for my innovation, for my ideas, for my collaboration, a place where I can also take that can help me, you know, promote my career, advance, uh, you know, my skills and so on, and also people to connect with. And BMC is really the right place for that. So a little bit of information about me. I see that there are a lot of people, you know, from all around the world uh, for this webinar. Uh, I come originally from Casablanca, Morocco. I studied in south of France, in Canada, in Spain then settled in Paris um, a little bit, uh, yeah, t 10 years ago, uh, where I started uh, working in, in the payment industry before moving to strategy consulting. So I did uh, yeah, six years of uh, advising C-level in their technology agenda, how they uh, see the future, how they innovate, how they prepare their organization to face the digital digital challenge. After that, I took uh, um, a challenge of working uh, for a public organization and, uh, you know, helping bridge the gap between what what uh, youth think and what youth can act uh, within a society and that was amazing because it helped me you know bring a lot of new skills in terms of negotiation in terms of public speaking in terms of uh, being able to impact a community and also business and these skills were really uh, useful when uh, you know uh, interviewing and uh, yeah joining my value engineering team at BMC so that's why I wanted to tell you I know that some people are not necessarily in the software industry some software industry some people are not coming from a, an IT background and that's okay because you all have things to bring and you all have things to learn and BMC is definitely the right place to open up uh, uh, to, to, to this uh, role. So don't think specifically about specific roles, but all thinks about skills that you are looking for and uh, that you want to, to take for uh, your career. Uh, the value engineering team is an amazing team. Uh, we are so in Europe, we are a little bit uh, everywhere in Spain, in uh, Germany, in, uh, in the UK, in France. I'm based in Paris and uh, I work with an amazing team, always on for innovation and um, taking up a challenge. My role is to support the business uh, for strategic accounts uh, when they have um, yeah, big engagements where they need to prove the value of our solutions. So basically that means creating business cases and yeah, advising uh, clients on a as a counselor to help promote that uh, topic and sign the deal. So that's very exciting. I know I joined BMC to have that uh, very you know driven, dynamic sales environment, and unfortunately, I couldn't really you know feel it from the start as it was you know March 2020 the pandemic hit the world and we were there you know supposed to work from home and at that time at that, that time I made an executive decision either it's going to be hard for me with a young child at home with my husband working from home as well and either I stop there and you know look for another opportunity or wait till it changes or uh, you know decide to live it to the fullest and th that's what I did and that's why I really uh, enjoyed this experience at BMC. So um, what made it uh, a very positive and um, yeah, successful experience is I um, decided to connect with one person each day. You know, try to have a call with them, try to get to know them, to yeah, understand what they're doing, how my work is related to them, how can we collaborate together to support the business. And it was a great moment because the team really helped me uh, yeah, on board, feel at home. I received some gifts at home. Uh, my manager was really understanding uh, with the situation with the pandemic and having a kid at home. So I had, uh, you know, I could uh, work when I wanted and when I was available as long as, uh, yeah, everything was okay. And they were always checking on me uh, with that. So, you know, we always talk about co companies talking about work-life balance, about diversity, about making people feel comfortable. And BMC is definitely the company where I felt that. So, um, yeah, don't hesitate to send your questions to Nicola if you have uh, specific ones on that. But uh, it's a great company about that. And uh, finally, if there's something I also wanted to share with you is, um, yeah, think about your personal mission statement. Um, um, I, I really value uh, choosing a company that has values that fit my personal agenda and also work 
towards uh, yeah specific CSR goals, uh, yeah gender equality, and also you know making yeah youth people uh, voices and youth uh, voices heard in the company. And BMC definitely does that uh, first because I can definitely reach out to anybody in the company and ask questions or interact on or you know report anything I I, I want to talk about and also take on new projects. So uh, you know being in this very uh, impressive platform that is value engineering, I'm able to use my skills from my pre previous experience, learn and grow new skills, but also, you know, really be open to imagine a new uh, type of career. So I love that. Thank you very much and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And that's on to you, Marissa. Thank you, Salma. Um, Good morning, good afternoon, everybody, wherever uh, you are. My name is Marisa Ortega. I joined DMC PSA's team about one year and a half right now. And today, well, I'm here to share with you my story, uh, how I ended up working in BMC and why I love my job here. So, um, about my story, uh, we have to move back to early in the 90s when I was starting my dancing career as a flamenco uh, dancer. But um, honestly, I don't know at what time or at what point I changed my mind and I decided that I wanted to study something more related to technology. So I finished my master degree in uh, 2000, uh, 2009 in computer science. But just right after that, um, I found myself in the middle of a kind of global economy crash. And it was uh, being hard for me to get a job in uh, Madrid and especially for young people right after college. So I thought, let's move back to, let's move to Dublin and improve your, your English. And that's what, what I did. I was studying English in the morning, uh, doing uh, jobs. Uh, I work in museums as a waitress everywhere uh, in the afternoons until I got a job in the Dublin Institute of, of Technology. But again, at some point I just started to miss the uh, sunny days and blue sky in Madrid and I decided to, to come back. Uh, and then I started working as a help desk uh, agent in, in Telefonica. And that was my first contact with uh, BMC products. That uh, uh, was how I knew uh, BMC. Because uh, guess what? This company um, was starting to use the BMC ITSM tool, and I started to uh, combine my help desk agent job and started to uh, administrate also their system. Uh, years later, I became a BMC uh, consultant specialized in, in ITSM solution. And in 2020, I had the opportunity to join the BMC uh, precise team. I'm uh, telling you this story because uh, before 2020, I didn't have any uh, previous experience as a pre-sales and that was uh, a big challenge for me because, um, uh, well, it was a new role. Uh, it was a challenge. Uh, good news and, and uh, the good thing uh, was that uh, I have to say that in BMC, I had a great, a soft landing, let's say. Uh, I had a great onboarding process. I had the opportunity to uh, know how every different piece in the uh, in BMC is working. Uh, I met a lot of uh, colleagues from all their departments uh, to know who is who, who is doing uh, what. And also I had the opportunity to improve my, my technical skills. And I'm still doing it. I mean, uh, I, I have to say the BMC invests a lot of uh, uh, time and effort um, to uh, train uh, employees and also to give them the tools uh, that they need to to grow in their in their job. So that's uh, something that I really uh, it is really really important for me. Um, but that's not the only reason that. Uh, uh, 
it's important for me and that's why I love my job in the next slide. Um, I would like to point out some uh, aspects about BMC culture. Uh, Melanie said, Jose Luis said, for me, people here makes the, the difference for sure. Uh, I work with an excellent team, great professional, better people, and they are people to learn from. And they are people that are always willing to help me. Um, regarding the pandemic situation that uh, Salma was uh, talking about and people first, sometimes people first sounds like a, a mantra, like a marketing slogan, uh, but I really found, uh, found it out uh, here to be true. I mean, uh, I came to BNC and after 12 months, I was sent home and I, I have seen how BMC has prioritized the healthy, the health, the uh, uh, wellness of uh, every employee above everything about business. Uh, so that's another reason that I, I think I, I, I'm lucky for sure. Another thing that I like is I work with people from everywhere. I have colleagues in Germany, in uh, Italy. I have colleagues in uh, Middle East, uh, in South Africa, in India. So um, that gives, gives me the opportunity to practice, keep improving my English, my Portuguese, uh, my languages, which for me is absolutely uh, fun. Um, regarding the technology, uh, I have to say that we have a strong support portfolio. I have seen uh, deep changes in BMC solutions, a uh, lot of innovation coming, AI, machine learning capabilities. Uh, but uh, from my uh, point of view that I'm working in an area specialized on uh, solutions regarding services and operation management, I have to say that it's a really, really exciting moment to join BMC because um, every day I'm doing different things. I mean, uh, today I have been with a, with a customer um, in a deep dive session about virtual agents and chatbots. Uh, next week I have to prepare a session about uh, a presentation about a monitoring solution. Last week I was working in a project in order to improve the user experience and, and look and feel uh, about a one self-service portal. So, I'm not doing <laughs> the same every day. And that's another thing that uh, I uh, feel lucky for. And uh, my last point would be regarding the, the leadership. Here I have found managers, uh, leaders that are giving me the freedom to, to explore what I want to do. And of course, I'm, uh, I have the time to do it. Jose Luis already uh, told that I have the possibility to spend one week, uh, sorry, one day uh, per week doing uh, or working in whatever I like, whatever I want. So that's uh, 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 great <laughs> to grow. I'm always getting an honest, an honest feedback. I mean, when I'm doing something uh, right, I'm going to get re recognition. If there is something that needs to be improved, also I'm going to get this feedback. So this is something that's really, really valuable for me and of course support and guidance. Um, this is my story and that's why I love working here. So thanks for the opportunity and having me here. And with that, uh, uh, over to you, Michael. Hey, yeah, um, thanks Marissa. And um, I'm Michael Walter. I'm coming from Hamburg uh, here in Germany. It's uh, in the north of Germany and um, I'm a senior, senior solution engineer uh, and working for BMC now for one and a half year. Um, I'm working in the team uh, of digital business automation uh, here in EMEA. Um, we're working uh, closely together, Marissa said before, um, uh, we're working worldwide. When we have some questions, we can ask our pre-sales uh, over the world. This is uh, so good and so nice, and um, it's um, working very, very. We're working very, very close together. And uh, the first thing what I hear is BMC is more than a family. And um, and the first thing I, I uh, when I come to BMC, I cannot. I, I know this. Uh, 
every customer say, yeah, we working closely together and yeah, um, it, it's more than a, it's a family, but uh, with BMC, I, I have this feeling um, this is real. This is a real family. We have some uh, problems um, together and we're working on it. And yeah, it's it's um, feels very, very good and very um, I'm I'm very happy to be here. And uh, I want to start a little bit with my um, education. I um, have an um, do an education to an IT specialist. And with this one, I um, moved to Bonn. It's a little bit more in the middle of Germany and work for the T-Systems and the Deutsche Post DHL. Um, and there I'm working as an on-field um, as an on-field service IT guy, helping uh, the customers to solve some problems and so on. Um, this was uh, not enough for me, and I went uh, back to the to the north of Germany, and I moved to Hamburg. There, I'm working also as a on-field um, on-field IT guy at the Lufthansa. Um, uh, everybody knows this is a big. Um, this is the biggest um, um, airline here in Germany, and um, there I get an opportunity um, to uh, go to the Bitmark. The Bitmark is an IT provider for uh, health insurance. The biggest health insurance for the Bitmark is uh, the DHK, and there was my first contact with with BMC. Um, I'm learning many things um, over ZOS or the distributed side of Control-M. Control-M is an automation tool from, from BMC that I work for. Um, now I'm working with it uh, 10 years and I'm learning so much experience at Bitmark um, over this tool and I meet the, uh, my now my colleagues um, many times in a year and um, with some problems with my, with my boss, um, I switched over to the TK. This is the health insurance C2. And there I'm um, working as a control M administrator. And um, this was, uh, uh, I working for the TK three years and um, we focused more on the administration side of control M, more things like what is, uh, what we want to drive in the future, what is the future project, um, more things, not the only scheduling thing, what's, uh, what we have um, in a normal way, we're working more on the um, future things um, like automation API, CICD processes and DevOps and also things. And uh, an ex-colleague from me, uh, from the Bitmark, um, tells me that uh, vacancy, uh, BMC has a vacancy for a solution engineer. I was interested, but I was a little bit reserved. My English is not so good and I have some problems. Um, I'm, I'm 10 years with, with, the, with the software, but I don't have the sales, um, uh, the sales mentality inside, but I don't know about over sales. And yeah, um, uh, after I think so, um, a month later was an um, event from BMC. We spoken a little bit um, over this, this uh, vacancy, and it was with, with my sales colleagues now. And they tell me, yeah, I think so. You can do it, but um, go to the interview. You cannot lose anything with it. And I do it, and uh, BMC hired me. It was a nice. A uh, nice thing, and um, with BMC, I I think so. It's um, it's nice that I can improve my skills, like my English, my language skills, or my IT skills. And uh, when I have a meeting with my boss uh, Phil Wood, it's in many times uh, we we found a way to improve something or make something different. We have not only a structured way, one way. Uh, we have multiple ways and um, I can choose what we are, want to go uh, with the customer. And yeah, this uh, is, is very, very nice and clear uh, in some cases um, 
um, I'm struggling a little bit uh, with my English. My um, my boss uh, lives in London, and um, we have some language problems. But uh, in the, uh, with time to time, uh, it would be better and better. And yeah, um, in IT, um, it's um, we have we have some. Uh, it's every time learning in IT and. Um, with BMC, you have the opportunity to uh, bring it on on uh, on a road that you can every time learn, and this is what I uh, found so good. And you have so many people with with uh, so intellectual. And um, I spoken with my guys here in the Netherlands or in Brazil or in U uh, UK or America, and it's very very nice. And um, yeah. Um, I can improve my skills and yeah, this is very, very good. And yeah, with this one, um, I want hand over to Nilifa. Hello all, thanks for the invitation. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, my name is Nilifar Özken. I'm originally from Turkey, but I moved to the Netherlands two and a half years ago uh, when I first started my career in BMC as an associate software consultant based in Amsterdam office. I'm currently 32 years old, so I can proudly say that I'm still the youngest mainframe specialist in BMC. Um, today I am part of the IZAD team. IZAD is short for Intelligent Say Optimization and Transformation. Uh, I am part of the IZAD Value and Solution Engineering team in EMEA region and I am responsible for DB2 products and solutions. Uh, I started my job as an associate software consultant in BMC and promoted twice to a software consultant, but now today the title has been transformed into solution engineer as for all. Um, so before jumping ahead, first uh, let me start with my career background, like what I was doing before joining BMC. Um, in my previous job, uh, I was a database administrator and system programmer in IBM COS environments, which is also known as mainframe. And I was responsible for both IBM's IMS and DB2 databases, their components, products and utilities in a bank environment. I have worked in the bank for five and a half years. Um, although that was my second job since I graduated from university, it is still the, the job that I worked uh, the most. Uh, when me and my husband decided to move out of Turkey and migrate to Europe, I started looking at job offers in LinkedIn mainly, and I applied not only jobs for BMC, but also other companies too. But uh, since I had already some, I had already known some B BMC products, BMC was my first choice to consider. And thanks to my mainframe knowledge and experience in my previous jobs, I was able to be successfully employed in BMC in the shortest time possible. Um, I remember that uh, we had several interviews with my current manager around October 2018, and uh, we were able to meet face to face in BMC's uh, Wiener's office in England on November the same year. After the visa applications and the all necessary papers to be collected were completed. I was finally able to start working at BMC Amsterdam office on February 2019. And then my pre-sales pre journey has started. Um, I can say that at first I was very worried because pre-sales is not something that I was experienced with before and as a you know, as an engineer with technical background, I was afraid that I would not do a decent job communicating with the customers in a, you know, sales oriented way. Um, in addition to this, I was going to move to a different country where I was not accustomed to. So even if 
uh, the, the moving was my choice, but uh, it doesn't make these worries less, right? Um, well, anyway, I can see today that these worries are normal for beginners for sure, but also they are short term. And now I can confidently say that I enjoy my career with pre-sales a lot compared to my previous jobs. I feel that uh, I was really lucky to, sh to be able to shift my career and for me it paid off. Um, of course, at the beginning it was not that easy to adapt and uh, I had many things to learn at work as well as to adapt uh, to an unfamiliar environment. However, um, I met with my manager at my first three days in BMC and uh, we had an orientation sessions together to make it easier to adjust and uh, what I can expect as a beginner in BMC. Um, we also had discussed my career path, my enablement plan so that I can become a software consultant as uh, good as the rest of my team uh, that you can see in the picture. Uh, this picture was taken in sales kickoff meeting that occurred in Houston in April uh, 2019, where I met all my teammates face to face for the first and uh, sadly the only time due to the coronavirus. Um, anyway, thanks to my uh, teammates' support and sharing all kinds of information with me, I love working as a solution engineer today or formerly known as a software consultant. Um, I really feel like valued in the ISOT team and I know that my concerns, my ideas or my opinions are heard pretty well by the management. Um, it is also a wonderful opportunity to be able to develop uh, new skills like technical skills as well as soft skills um, such as personal development, time management, etc. through our careers in BMC. It is really possible. BMC provides all the possibilities or opens the door for you. And uh, I know that there will be even more opportunities for all for us all to grow, which makes us uh, you know, feel satisfied with our careers. Um, well, uh, that's pretty much it that I have. Uh, I believe next we have the Q&A session. Thanks, uh, Nulifer. Uh, before we go to Q&A, I just want to wrap up the, the session. Uh, so my name is Kees van Andel. I'm running the solution engineering team for the DSOM business unit. And I think you heard from different people from different parts of the organization with different backgrounds, their experience and their journey in this organization. Um, I've been with BMC for over 20 years. Uh, people always ask me why have you been with this company for so long? But I think uh, looking at the presentation that we had, especially the thing around people and culture is a key aspect for me. Uh, for me, one of the things that I get across to my team is that um, if you look at your professional life and you're at the end of your professional life, and you're there to actually check out at the cash register and you have your shopping cart. I definitely would like uh, this period in time uh, being part of BMC, being part of the BMC pre-sales team and being part of my team. I definitely want that time uh, period in time in the shopping cart, right? Uh, thinking about the relationships you have built, uh, but also the memories you have collected, because I, I seriously think that life is all about collecting memories. And BMC is a great platform for a career and a great platform for building those memories. So with that, I would like to hand it over back to Nicola. Thank you, Kays, and thanks for everyone who spoke. I, I absolutely love the stories. I am I know most of you and I've got to know some of you I didn't know as well even better. So I've thoroughly enjoyed um, hearing your stories. So we've had some great questions come through. Um, I know throughout the session we've been answering some of the questions, but um, I still think we might run through a few that um, I know there's one for Melanie. So Melanie, in terms of um, are there any measures for inclusion? Could you please answer that one? 
Yeah, I was actually excited to see that one come up. So thank you. Uh, you know what you come and see from a metrics perspective in terms of inclusion, you're really measuring your levels of diversity. So whether it's a number of gender or age or whatever, those are kind of what you make up of your population. When you want to measure inclusion, it's really the feel and the vibe of how well are we doing. So remember, diversity is getting invited to the party or the dance and inclusion is letting me on the dance floor and do my own moves, right? Embarrassing as they may be. <laughs> so when you talk about measuring inclusion, it's how do our team members feel? You know, I think what you just heard from like Nullifer, her experiences say not only was I was coming from this, you know, this environment, but I was able to bring what I had and mesh into what was already there, not forced to be into a re recipe that's just been here for 20 years. It's really about we want the right people with the right skills to complement us and take us to a whole new place. So when I think about measuring inclusion, it's about talking to team members and leaders and getting the sense of the team and how they're feeling and their energy levels. We do obviously you know, look at the numbers and are we doing enough to be representing, you know, everything we'd love to be, you know, in terms of, you know, underserved minorities and, you know, gender, binary, all that good stuff. Um, we're constantly keeping our eye on that. And, and Nicola, if I could just answer one more in the essence of time I saw in that thread, I think there was someone looking about a question saying, hey, do you um, sponsor folks to work in other places from India? And traditionally, yes, we do do that. We, we look at the talent first and then location and customer needs, business needs second. We are limited right now due to the pandemic. We've got some countries that are going, you know, back under shutdown and there's different rules. And, and right now it's, it's a little unpredictable. So the answer is yes, but right now it's not the active thing that we're doing in terms of, you know, taking new hires and then sending them abroad. It's just we want to keep you and your family members safe. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Melanie. That's great. Um, and then there's a few questions that are all uh, of a similar theme. So, um, Kays, I, I think I might hand this one over to you. So in terms of um, people coming from maybe working with BMC Technologies, but not having pre-sales experience or vice versa, they don't have uh, the technologies, but they've got pre-sales experience. So are we open to looking at these profiles? I know for me, uh, working in recruitment, absolutely do. Um, but I'll hand over to you for a bit more of a fuller answer. Yes, definitely. Uh, thank you, uh, Nicola. So yeah, for sure. Um, so if you look at the pre-sales profile, right, it's not only about uh, having the experience with the BMC solutions or being in the pre-sales capacity for, for many, many years. Uh, to the point that Melanie was calling out, right? We're looking for the people with the right profile. So if you have the right technology basis, if you have the right appetite for technology, if you're excited about innovation, if you're excited about engaging with customers and other people in our organization, uh, and you have the drive, and you have the energy and the right interpersonal skills, right? That's the profile of the people that we're looking for. And if you look at uh, talking about uh, diversity, if you look at um, also a mix of, of skills and capabilities that we recently hired, right? We we hired people with without any pre sales background uh, to the point that Marissa was making, okay? But still have the, the right basis from a technology point of view. Uh, we hire people with BMC experience uh, in, in the technology uh, because in some pockets of, uh, of, of the area, we need, we need it as well, right? Uh, but then the people like the pre-sale skills, uh, which you also have a, a very decent program in order to uh, to get that done in the onboarding. So um, it's more about the, the the personality, the type of people we're looking for, and also some prerequisites on on the skill set as well, of course. But uh, yeah, we're looking at a, a broad set of uh, capabilities there. Great. Thank you, Case. Um, and just to kind of wrap up, because I, I know we're coming up to time very soon and there's been some wonderful uh, questions coming in about specific regions that people are interested in. If there's open roles, um, I, I absolutely do. I've got some fantastic roles, which is why we've timed this um, webinar because of these positions we've opened now so I can share after this call some of those wonderful positions. So feel free to reach out to me if we go to the next slide, please. Um, you've got my contact details there and um, you can link in with me. Please feel free to link in with anybody that's on the any of our speakers today. I know they'd be delighted to hear from you. Um, we can have a conversation though specifically about different roles uh, one on one. So give me a shout uh, 
be it a, a WhatsApp text or, or an email directly. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time this evening. I hope you all unwind and enjoy a nice refreshing drink now that you've listened to all our chats um, and thanks for the call today. Really appreciate all the speakers taking their time as well to, to talk about pre-sales. BMC rules, come on down. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>